Hello, welcome to World Games with Niramas. I'm Joseph, I'm here with Draco, and today we're taking a look at some play mats for Terraforming Mars. These are from Deep Cut Studio, and I start off here, I just wanted to start off with everything basically on the table. So this is just a setup I did just to show you how everything fits on the play mat on the table. And then I will go through the more of in detail, and there's another play mat under here as well, so we're going to take a look at both of them. But first off, just a quick overview. It's really cool. We have like the we have new awards, new milestones over here. We have room for the turmoil event cards. We have the distant. We have the coming here, and then of course the current global event. It also shows here that we're supposed to you know add the neutral delegates. It's good to have that as a reminder. The parliament itself is here. <laughs> Everything is out here. And really nice, you have like the lobby, you have the storage there for everything and all of these. And the Venus, the Venus track up there, you know, and I am using 3D tiles that have 3D printed and so on. I will show you in a little bit how it looks with the normal, you know, game tiles. On the actual map over here, we have some special things. So in the middle here, we have a spot. So this is the Vastitas Boralis, the Northern Waste. So in the middle here we have a spot where it's like i don't know it's like ice and then if you place a tile here you will raise the temperature but it costs you four mega credits to do so and there's a lot of interesting spaces out here another interesting one here is that you actually get to place a delegate as a placement bonus so that is totally neat. Now this by the way is a fan made design the, both of these mats are designed by a fan arno drifte as it says uh, down here on the mat has made these and you know, good job. I haven't you know played with them yet. I don't know how balanced everything is with these, but obviously it's you know play testing and so on. I guess so. Really cool and really fresh as well. A new way to play here. Over here, I think it's really nice that we have room for all of these colonies. So you have colonies on the same space as well. I think the setup would be so nice for this, you know, because you don't have to pull out all the different pieces, put them on the board. You have to just roll out the mat, and everything is there. And over here on the left side, also cool, I really like this part, where we have the standard projects, sort of like normal. So you have, you know, we can sell the patent, you know, power plant, asteroid. But then we also have like 15 here for racing Venus, the air scrapping. So it's on here, 17 to build a colony. We have the TR solar only, then you have the buffer gas for 16, you can raise your TR. And the mis miscare is five megacredits to place a delegate. And then you have the cost here to trade, send it out a trade vessel out here. And then down here you have all the party bonuses, the bonuses and the policies. So you have everything easy to access right there on the map. So I am looking forward to play this with my friends. And I, I will also make a solo playthrough with one of these, uh, or maybe both, and see how it goes with a different map. Of course, in solo, uh, some parts you know we wouldn't use all these spaces and all that but we'll see how it goes now let's take a closer look on the milestones and awards and the actual mat number two as well all right so back here and i did mention i am going to show you just how it looks you know the tiles here and they look to fit very nicely on the map so no problem there there is one thing i did notice though there's no space to put this you know you put the nine ocean tiles in a stack. There's no space for that on this mat, which I thought was a bit weird. I'm not really sure why. <laughs> it seems strange, but it's not a big deal, I guess. But it, it was just, just interesting that that's not here. All right, let's take a closer look on the milestones and awards. So I haven't really, you know, I haven't played with this. I am not 100% sure what everything here means. But the agronomist seems to be a milestone here for for having four plant tags i would assume this would be spacefarer five space tags that's pretty easy to do geologist not really sure what that means that symbol uh you know you can look that up obviously if you know you get these mats and then engineering or engineer seems to be a combination of production of heat and you know have ten have ten combination of heat and energy again pretty easy to do right Farmer six. I'm not sure what they mean by that. They show like a green, dark green, and a light green cube. Not sure what they mean. Seven floaters for Hoverlord, and that's of course five points. It's nice that it's like first claim, second claim, third claim. I really like the 
the design though. And over here, so Traveler, I think, is that like Jovian tags and Earth tags maybe? Landscaper, not sure if we're supposed to build in this configuration or something. Highlander again, I don't know, building not next to an o ocean, not sure. Promoter, is that event tags maybe? Blacksmith, production of steel and titanium, I do understand that one. And Venophile here is, you know, one of these like standard ones if you play it with Venus, right? But it's like included here, so it's actually six instead of five. Same goes over here, six milestones, that's interesting. So that is the Vastitas Borealis, the Northern Waste. Now let's take a look at the other playmat. Right, so here instead we have the Terra Cimmeria, the Cratered Highland Region. It's, you know, again, fan-made by the same person who made the other one. This is a bit of a just reverse here. We have the colony tiles over here. And again, if you don't have these like 3D tiles here, you know, you can check it fits really nicely in there and so on. And kind of melts a little bit with the background actually. And all the standard products is over on this side. And then we have like a trade fleet. And over here on the actual board, it's like a, yeah, so this is like a cratered, right? So basically it's just water here at the edges and then the crater in the middle, right? And then we have the parliament, everything over here, the Venus and the events. So just switched in that way. Again, I don't see a place to any, where to place the ocean tiles. So I'm not sure, maybe, you know, if you're playing with the 3D tiles, obviously you wouldn't, you know, stack them anyway. You would have them on the side, I don't know. But the interesting thing here is there's like a huge amount of steel bonuses, which makes sense thematically, I guess, with the craters. There's a lot of steel, like double steel and double titanium, but not much else. <laughs> not, not that much exciting here. Here's a MSL Curiosity. That's pretty cool. Curiosity is over here. So if you build here, you have to pay five mega credits, but you get to place a colony right away. So that is a cool bonus for sure. All right, so milestones. Over here we have planetology. So it's Earth, Venus, and Jovian tags, I guess. You have to have five in total. Three cities for architects. That's interesting. Isn't that just a standard, like the, you know, mayor or whatever? Not sure what the difference would be there. And four for Coast Guard, I think that means build next to ocean, I assume. Then five for having five, um, or five production of plants, Forester. 13, Mega Credit Production, Investor. And Hover Lord is here as well, seven floaters. So it's, hmm, I don't know. I don't know. Then let's take a look at the awards. So Electrician, having most energy tags, Founder. Again, not sure what these symbols really mean. It has something to do with the placement, I think. But I, again, I will have to look that up. And you know, there's you know, you can find links in the description as well if you want to learn more about these mats. And Mogul here is production of steel, titanium, plants, energy, and everything except for megahertz, basically. Sologist again, these symbols that I'm not sure what they're supposed to mean by that. Forecaster is a blue and green card, perhaps. And Venophile is here as well. I guess they just include that as because that comes with the Venus Next expansion. So you maybe you want to have this in, even though you no matter which map you're playing with, right? All right. So let's get into in the end here a few of my first impressions. Again, I haven't played with these mats yet, so I can't really speak for that. And I will say the quality or the thickness is very good. You know, I basically it's the same really that's from Deep Cut Studios that I have on my actual table all the time and the Draco play mats that, you know, are the small versions of that as well. So yeah, thick and nice, nice edges. And they have like a anti-slip basically, whatever it's called on the back. So, you know, if you would put this on a wooden table, it wouldn't slip around, which is a good idea uh, when you have like a plane feel like this. And then I think the design and everything looks nice and I really like and I think it's cool that they include all the pieces here for the expansions and I assume you know if we're not playing with the turmoil we can just ignore this part right but I just love having everything out and I do like to play the game with everything in even though it's quite a complex and uh, somewhat heavy game at that stage and it takes forever at least on like four people <laughs> thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed it if you did press the like button and subscribe to the channel thank you and have a great evening or morning whenever you're watching take care bye bye